Hello everyone, welcome back to Pathways of Hope. My name is Chris Felix and I'm from Subang Jaya, Malaysia. Today's Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. And for today, I'd like to encourage us to look at this Gospel reading from two perspectives. We have the perspective of the laborers, as well as the perspective of the householder. So let's begin from the perspective of the laborers, but specifically the laborers hired by the householder early in the morning. Now, if you look at it from their perspective, right, you can conclude that the householder was unfair, unjust. Why? Because the householder gave the same amount of daily wages to the laborer that worked in the vineyard at the beginning of the day, at the third, at the sixth, at the ninth, and even at the eleventh hour, all received the same denarius. And you would think to yourself, especially if you were the ones hired right in early in the morning, how can this be fair? How can this be just? You may come to this conclusion because you're looking at this particular passage from the perspective of the laborer. Now let's for a second look at the situation from the perspective of the householder. Right now, during the time of Jesus, laborers had to wait each day in the marketplace until someone comes, just like the householder came to the to the marketplace to hire them for a day's job. Now, what does that mean? If there was no work on that particular day, if there was no householder to hire them, that meant that the laborer would have gone home with no food, no wages to feed his family. And so the master, the householder knew this. And so he went and hired late in the afternoon, right? The third hour, sixth hour, even at the eleventh hour, so that he could feed the the laborer's household. He knew this. Right? And so having this particular perspective of the householder here who represents God, we now see the compassion, the generosity of the householder. And the reason why he gave the same denarius for his laborers that came right at the beginning of the day, right to the 11th hour. Friends, doesn't this put things into perspective? Oftentimes, we can look at things from our own perspective, my own perspective, my own lens, without thinking of God's perspective, God's lens. And I'll be honest with you, I'm very comforted by this particular Bible verse in sacred scripture, which I think many of you know, taken from Isaiah chapter 5, verse 8, which reads, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Because oftentimes, friends, we see things from our own perspective without seeing the situation from the perspective of God. And we need to remind ourselves that God is in control. The gift of the denarius given to us, given to the laborers, indeed was a gift. A gift given by the householder to each of the laborers so that they can use that particular gift to feed their families. My dear brothers and sisters, we know that the householder did it out of his own compassion, his own generosity, and his own love. And so maybe for us today, when we go through difficult moments in our lives, my dear friends, when we are seeing things from only our perspective, let us surrender this particular moment to the Lord. Let us ask for God's grace and God's strength to look at a particular situation through the lens of Jesus. And when we do that, I believe strongly that we will come to a place really of compassion, right? of love, of even generosity. 
right? And we will be empathetic, sympathetic to those around us because we can see that particular situation from the lens of God, from the lens of love. So my dear friends, we are challenged today to look at things from God's perspective. Amen. If you were blessed by this video, I would like to invite you to like and to share this video. Once again, I'm Chris Felix. Take care, stay safe and God bless. Bye everyone.